वेदेशुरेकुषम व्याप्यस्थित रोदसी यस्वर इन्य विषय शब्द यथाताक्षर अंत मुक्षु क्वचि इंगुदीपलभिद सूच्य 
ಏವೋಪಲ ವಿಶ್ವಾಸೋಪಗಮಾತ್ ಅಭಿನ್ನ ಘತಯ ಶಬ್ದ ಸಹಂತೆ ಮೃಗ ತೋಯಾಧಾರ ಪತಾಚ ಬಲ್ಕಲಶಿಖ ನಿಶ್ಯಂದ ರೇಖಾಂಕಿ ಆಕೀರ್ಣ ಋಷಿಪತ್ನಿ ಊಟಚ ದ್ವಾರೋಧಿ ಅಪತ್ಯೈರಿವ ನೀವಾರ ಭಾಗದೇಯೋಚಿತೈ ಮೃಗೈ friends a good culmination for navaratri and kalidasa day celebration uh, i have seen in the chat by one mr cal sriram the nice selection of words in the message to kalidasa is a really good message let us look at just one or two sriyam mahendra nathasya dahara natu medini this is how ragu's fight over kalinga king has been explained has been described recently if you look at the what is called youtube on rajendra sora's conquest rajendra sora had a very powerful mighty blue water navy and he has extended malayan peninsula as well as indonesian archipelago sri vijaya empire and he i mean he conquered the sri vijaya empire but he did not there you can find rajendra sora's strategy he did not annex the territory of sri vijaya but he made sri vijaya kings follow his dictates that is the merchants of chola empire should have unhindered and undisturbed access everywhere and the, the pirates of the sea they should not disturb them they should not what is called take over the wealth by killing these merchants etc so that the merchandise will be totally lost that should not be there so to establish a clear cut way for these merchants they have conquered other countries and they brought the wealth but their industry is not in annexing the territory even though they established even though they left their viceroy there to oversee so this is how this sort of this sort of principle seem to be the general principle or pan indian principle from ancient times and kalidasa's line also while describing ragu's victory over other kings sriyam mahendranathasya jahara natu medini so it is not their annexing the territory expanding the territory but it is what is called maintaining undisturbed access to their people to their merchants and all the things that is people's welfare that was doha samga ek nyaya asyaya mahavadivam where it has been stated the welfare of the king was welfare of the subjects 
was their prime motive. So Sadabhyo Prajai, uh, that is Sadabhyo Balimagrahi, Prajanameva Bhutyartam. It is for the welfare of the people they have collected the taxes. Even the constitution, Indian constitution has got the speciality. Welfare state is the most important concept. That is there still we continue, as he says, Kalidasa's message seems to be relevant. And not only that, Tapashat Bhagam Achayam. That is, even the people, tax has to be paid by every one. Not a, I mean, even I am not earning anything that you cannot say. So they say, that is said in Sakuntala, they earn the wealth of penance. They do, they have got penance as their wealth and earn punya. And one sixth of the punya has to be transferred to the king as their tax. Tapas Shadbhagam Achayam. Tadat Yaranyakahi Naha. So in this way, Tapas Sanchinoti Pratyaham. Kalidasa says, Diripa, that is Dushyanta, Sanchinoti collects. Collects tapas does not mean he is doing penance, but he is maintaining people properly and the, what is called the welfare state maintenance helps him get that tapas, help him get the tax. So he is also acquiring tapas in this way. Beautiful verse selections. In fact, in the Vakrokti Jivita, Puntaka says, Kusma Sukumara Buddeha. The kings have to be, that is, the princes have to be taught, and the Kavyas happen to be good textbooks for them. And because the Kavyas happen to be the good other textbooks, as we have readers, etc., such readers are not generally available. Hence, the Kavyas served as a basic textbook for all the people to learn. And the Kavyas contained many material. And uh, this purpose of Kavya has been summed up by everybody, including Mamata. That is on Upadesa Yuje, Vyavahara Yuje. These are the two points which are given. And uh, Kalidasa is known for his messages. And beautiful message verses have been collected by our young lecturer, P.C. Murali Dhanan. And he has presented, of course, he enjoyed it very much. That's why he is able to present it. For presenting some, before making others enjoy, one should be able to enjoy. He enjoyed Of course, I could see in a video that how nice it should have been. But let us see. In the YouTube, I think the audio may come nice. And uh, again, we can send thanks to her when we hear the audio. And the verses, I mean, of course, I missed my... Somebody has uh, referred to in the chat, beautiful songs and beautiful words, etc. So, but I, I was not that fortunate to hear all those beautiful words and songs. Anyway. My, just to thank her for agreeing to present these uh, songs. This endowment has got two parts. One part is the lecture part, and another part is presenting Kalidasa, Sangeetan Sahityam Saraswati Asarabhayam. The Sangeeta part also has to be presented. Some of the beautiful, nice verses from Kalidasa has to be presented in the form of a musical rendering. Jaydevi had agreed. And of course, that is, we are not fortunate that she lost current uh, connectivity in her place. But anyway, since it is, seems to be a regular, she has already recorded and sent it. And I thank Lavanya and other people who have hosted it. I thank all the people who have joined this program. And I thank the people who may hear it in future also. This, of course, may be given in YouTube later. And uh, I thank the endowment makers also. The, the, uh, I mean, the, 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 the people connected with Sri Venkat Narayana here and Sundarambal. Ramnath's family and others. I thank everyone. I thank all the people, the staff of KSRI, for helping us. And uh, next week also we have a lecture that also will be a beautiful lecture that will be on Apai Dikshita Day. And the lecture is by Dr. N. V. Devi Prasad, former principal Madras Sanskrit College. And he speaks the logical analysis of Alankara definition in the Chitrami Mamsa. Chitrami Mamsa of Apai Dikshita. So hope all of you will join the next week also like this. Thank you very much.